Hey everybody, welcome to GearWire.com. I'm Rob Wormowski and this is the Chicago Guitar Show for 2007. We've got a very rare opportunity here uh, to sit with a master luthier. This is Bill Hollenbeck from Hollenbeck Guitars. How you doing, Bill? Just fine. We just uh, had a chance to uh, take a look at Bill uh, uh, working on a part of uh, building a new hollow body electric guitar. You take uh, readings at every inch or so? What, what, what other way is there to do it? Right, so why would they think you're crazy? If that's the difference between, you know, handcrafting and uh, machining, then fine. Um, right uh, now, uh, Bill flipped over the uh, back paw piece and uh, is uh, showing us uh, these markings. Well, tell us what those markings are. Okay, the, this is a top for a guitar. I have to carve a board that's about an inch and an eighth thick thickness to allow for the arch of the guitar. And so I do the outside first and so that the angle of the neck and the bridge and saddle will work out for the string height. And then once I get the outside done, then I cut out the inside to about 250 thousandths to start before I start my graduation or tuning of the top. I'd say what I find very interesting is that when you see the piece of wood like this, it becomes very clear that uh, what an arch top, uh, the arch of an arch top, which may not be so obvious once you've got the hardware on the guitar. Yes, this is all hidden, but this is the the soundboard for the chamber itself, and uh, this is very crucial if you have a nice sounding guitar. And uh, what type of wood are we looking at here? Uh, this is Sitka spruce. It's probably 30 years old. Uh, and the, the age, if it's at least oh, five years old or older, it, it will work. But this stuff, I happened to come across some stuff that was some guy had that it had been kept uh, in storage. So I picked it up and started using it. Now, uh, did you use a regular chisel to get to the uh, rough uh, depth that we see here, or did you use a different tool? I have some little block planes uh, that, that I make, and this allows me to shave off the inside and so forth. Uh, the, you can use, some, uh, I use some, some machines to do rough, the rough gouging to get rid of things, but when you get around to doing the actual tuning and carving, you pretty well have to do it by hand. Uh, there's some CNC's that are being used, but you get the shape, but every board's different, so you have to do some individual tuning and uh, carving. And how did you get from sketches to your outline? Uh, the, the, the outline is pretty much determined by the angle of your neck that's mounted on the guitar and, what, and the height of your bridge and saddle. So you have to just sit down and work that out uh, mathematically to get the, and then match it. That's uh, are you, uh, you uh, what kind of tools are you using? Are, are you using any digital tools or any uh, computer-aided design of any kind? Uh, no, no, I'm still the old, the old school. And I'm pretty much, uh, I use a router, uh, a table saw, jigsaw, uh, block planes, uh, some sanding discs, that type of thing. But uh, it's, I can't achieve, I, I can get some duplications of what I do by hand but when you get down to the fine points, the, the computer doesn't know what to do with it. Fair enough, fair enough. We find that in a lot of uh, places where uh, computers are in use in music, and uh, here's, uh, here's yet another one. Bill, uh, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bill Hollenbeck for uh, Hollenbeck Guitars. I'm Rob Wormowski.